Welcome to Voyans. Now joining me is Robert Lambert and it is your Q&A that we're just about to do. So first of all, Robert, <clears throat> do you want to talk about why you're wearing shorts and it's absolutely freezing? Um, well, when I woke up, the sun was out <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I was looking a better day than today, what it is now. So, um, yeah, it's got a bit chilly, but um, no, I'll be getting changed into my suit soon, so I won't need them. Yeah, all right, fair enough. Okay, you ready for the questions? We've got quite a few. Okay, Daniel says on Instagram, why is your rider number 505? Um, well, originally from when I was young, so I had number five, and then um, when I was doing the world uh, under 21s, started that. Um, I couldn't have uh, number one to 18 um, because obviously that's like the rider order number. Um, so I needed to choose a different number, um, and pretty much five or five looked pretty cool, so I went <laughs> with that, and um, yeah, so that stuck, you know, it seemed good and looked pretty snazzy, so. Why not? Right, fair enough. Good use of snazzy as well. Yeah. Okay. So Chris on Facebook says, "What's your favourite track and why?" Um, I've probably got a few to be honest with you. Um, I don't know. I'd say probably uh, Kings Lynn. That's probably my favourite track because it's always prepared good and um, and I seem to get around there pretty well. So um, yeah, it's probably one of my favourite tracks. And I've got a few more. Obviously, probably say a favourite in every country. But um, yeah, probably my Kings Lynn tops it. Okay, well, we'll stick with Kings Lynn for a minute. Sam on Facebook says, how long would you ideally like to ride for Kings Lynn Stars? Um, well, as long as Buster want me there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, um, really, I wouldn't want to go anywhere else. It's, um, Kings Lynn's obviously pretty much hometown and home speedway for me, so um, I've always been happy to be there. And, um, yeah, I couldn't really see myself going anywhere else uh, anytime soon, so... Um, Keep the ear to the ground, maybe I'm back next year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a decent while still, there you go. All right, well, you've been with us for most of the season, so you've gone up against all of these guys out there, but is there anybody that you go up against that is just a little bit more intimidating than the others? Um, I wouldn't say so, you know. It's, um, they're all um, all beatable, you know, and I, can, I know that I can beat them, and I've beat them in different places as well. So, um, you know, it's just um, getting everything right on the day and, um, you know, being being staying focused and everything. And, um, yeah, I know I can go out and beat them all. And um, I think probably a couple of years ago, I was, I was probably a little bit intimidated by some riding. Not intimidated, but, like, sit next to them and start and be like, wow, I'm actually next to these guys. Um, but now it's kind of normal. And, um, and yeah, and I feel that I should uh, be up against these guys and feel a part of, uh, of this kind of level of speedway. So, um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. And... Um, yeah, let's get it going. Yeah, I think you've shown that this season. Okay, so Bernard on Facebook says, considering your first steps, how much impact did German Speedway have on your career? Um, yeah, it was pretty big impact, you know. Um, more bigger impact than what we initially thought um, going out there for the this training camp. Um, and then after that, obviously getting the German license, we... Uh, Obviously, was allowed to race a little bit early, and I was in the UK, so um, so I was starting to ride against uh, better riders than I could do in the UK with just practicing and things like this. So that sort of gave me a couple of couple of steps um, before I actually could in the UK. So um, no, it's um, it's been a big part of, of obviously my speedway career, and um, yeah, and it's helped me push me along to to where I am now. So yeah, I'm really grateful for that. Do be aware I'm not responsible for these questions in any way. Brad on Instagram would like to know whether you consider a hot dog a sandwich or not, and if you'd care to discuss it further. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Overall, then I'd probably say a hot dog. Hot dog would be pretty cool, eh? Some onions on and ketchup. <laughs> yeah, you can go for a hot dog. <laughs> All right. I'm not sure that's what I, I have no idea to be honest Brad you're weird it's all right okay so uh, let's just have a look at another one from Steve he says uh, do you look at the GP program ever inside a program um, yeah we take a look if there's a picture of me in there I'd like to see it so <laughs> yeah I'll have a look in there every so often to see the write-ups what what, um, what obviously saying about me and, and things like that so yeah and also I need to look in a program to see what race I'm in so uh, yeah I do look in there <laughs> okay uh, goals for 2020 um, well we still got three meetings this year um, obviously next year I'm not doing the world under 21s um, so yeah probably goals for next year um, I don't know really. I'd like to like to stay in the Grand Prix. You know, it's um, it's the highest level in speedway, and, um, and I'm really enjoying it. And um, and I think that's really progressing me as a rider and learning all the time. You know, so um, no, I think uh, the first goal at the moment would be to to try and stay in the Grand Prix and um, yeah, be racing up against the top boys. Okay, sounds good. All right, we'll just our last few questions. Hot or cold? Uh, hot. Day or night? Day. Pizza or pasta? Pasta. 
think we're done. All right. Okay, that was your live Q&A with Robert Lambert. Thanks, Robert. Enjoy tonight. Cheers. Thank you.